What is going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the Great Care Crisis and why Adult Day is going to come to the rescue. But first, you got to like, comment, subscribe, show a little love. My name is Chris Chan, the founder and CEO of Active Age Daytime Senior Care. And we got to get a few housekeeping items out of the way. I know I'm going to save them to the end, but in case you don't watch to the end, I want to make you aware of it. Go to adcpro.com to join our monthly free webinar. We go over all of the latest questions people have regarding starting their own adult day center, or if they have an existing adult day center and they need help, we are there to answer your questions. Once a month, it's completely free. You can sign up at adcpro.com. Also, make sure you join our private Facebook group. And if you're interested in starting your very own Active Age, go to activeagecare.com forward slash franchise. And now that I got all my stuff out of the way, let's get right into it. So number one, guys, we are gonna talk about why is adult day the future of care? Why is this, like, like what, what is causing adult day to like suddenly become the solution to the problem when it, when it comes to taking care of our seniors? Well, let's face some of these stats, okay? So I'm sure many of you know this, but you know, for those that are age 65 and up, there are currently 56 million people, but that is gonna grow to 84 million people over the next 15 and 20 years. And 70% of those people, they are going to need some form of assistance with their activities of daily living. And 90% of those people wish to age in place in their very own homes. And one out of every five Americans are taking care of a loved one and are a family caregiver of some sort. So that being said, guys, that is our stats. I mean, these are big numbers. These, you know, are like the, just the sheer demand of our, you know, kind of population continuing to age. And eventually there's going to be more people over the age of 65 than there are going to be like children in this world. Like this is a very like diff this is a different time. We haven't lived through a time like this before. And so things are changing fast. And you know, there is going to be so much pressure on the healthcare system as people continue to age because there's just not enough services available to them. And we talk about this all the time, but the problem is, is most of the services that exist today are just very expensive. So how are we going to solve this problem? Okay. And why is adult day the solution? Well, for those that may not know, there has been a significant increase in dementia amongst those younger adults, ages 30 to 64. There's been a 200% increase in diagnoses of some form of dementia. That is massive. So we're already concerned about this population, but what about that population? What about the 50 year old who is you know, working and their spouse is maybe 58 and one of them starts to develop early onset dementia, Parkinson's, any of the other types of dementias that exist, what happens when that begins to take place? You're gonna have you know, people who are continuing to pursue their careers and they're gonna be balancing this, like, uh, this idea of taking care of their loved one as while trying to pursue their career. And that's gonna put more and more pressure on those individuals. And as younger people begin to develop dementia, they're going to need a safe place for their loved one to be during the day so that they can go take care of their kids, so they can go you know, pursue their hobbies, so they can go and pursue their careers. And so this is just one of many different reasons why Adult Day is gonna be so important because Adult Day solves that problem. It solves the problem of the person who wants to pursue their career, but all of a sudden their like their spouse is beginning to you know get early onset dementia and they need a place for their loved one to be during the day in a safe environment. Number two, there's an increase of older Americans who are just working longer. Like more and more people over the age of 65 are continuing to work in you know, like into their 70s and 80s in some cases. Like this is continuing to grow. That population over the age of 65 that's still in the workforce is you know 20% up from 10% back in the 1980s. So not only are the younger folks who are suffering from this early onset dementia gonna need assistance during the day, but also those that are over the age of 65 who Maybe you're still working so that they can continue to maintain a certain lifestyle. Maybe they're still working so they can continue to afford the home, the cars, and all the different things that they wanted to do in their life. And they need to continue that so they are having to rely on adult day to meet the needs of their loved ones. And number three, there's gonna be an increase in multi-generational households. These are 
folks that have their kids living with them as well as their mom and dad. These are the adult children that are stuck in the middle who have moved mom and dad in with them. And like now mom and dad are starting to age and you know, they used to be independent, but now they need a little help. They used to be able to like watch the kids, but maybe now you know, they can't trust them anymore because they're worried because maybe they have you know, dementia or Alzheimer's or maybe they physically they can't like you know, be at home alone because of the fact that they might be a fall risk you know, and so all of these things are gonna to start to happen where now the adult child's gonna say, hey, look, we need a safe place for mom to be during the day because I'm trying to work, I'm trying to take care of the kids, I'm running, you know, little Johnny back and forth to practice, I got, you know, to pick up Susie from the mall, and then, you know, like, I got mom and dad I'm worried about and I don't want them home alone. So guess what? Mom and dad, we're going to the club. We're going to the new senior day club down the road and, uh, you know, there's a place that they can go that is safe supervised and is going to give that aging parent something to look forward to, right? So multi-generational households have grown from the 1960s at 12% to today, 20%. Last year alone, 15% of all homes sold were sold to a multi-generational household. Number four, staffing shortages. It's estimated that there's going to be you know, a staffing shortage of over 355,000 home health aides, CNAs, and other folks that support you know, the, the, the caregiving you know, workforce, that these people without them, our entire healthcare system would just completely collapse, okay? And so these staffing shortages are gonna put a lot of pressure on healthcare companies to be able to actually deliver the care in which they need to, to help support and maintain all of our seniors, right? So like what's gonna happen when we're 355,000 caregivers short? Like what's that gonna look like? It's not gonna be pretty. And the other thing is because of these staffing shortages, that alone is gonna put a lot of inflationary pressure on the cost of care. And what brings down that better than adult day, right? Because instead of a one-to-one -one ratio like home care, you know, you know, you can share the cost of care amongst many people. It might be one to five or one to six, depending on where you're at. You know, things to take into consideration too is the other alternatives of care that are not adult day, so like assisted living, home care, the cost of that care is gonna rise dramatically. You know, you've got assisted living facilities right now where their debt service like is literally doubled because the cost of capital has gone up. You got the cost of construction where both materials and labor costs have gone up. You know, a $20 million assisted living facility just a few years ago now costs $40 million. You know, the cost of insurance, especially in Florida, whether it's property or even general liability insurance, like all of that has gone up, whether it's been COVID, whether it's hurricanes, whether it's whatever else has gone on in this world, or just the fact that like you're insuring a building for a much greater value. All of those things have caught, have, have caused the insurance cost to, to, to skyrocket. And then same with home care, right? We already talked about staffing shortages, like staffing shortages alone are gonna put a ton of inflationary pressure on home care agencies because you're gonna have demand for care going up, you're gonna have less supply of caregivers who can meet that demand. That alone is gonna cause inflationary pressure and there is no way to reduce the like cost of care in home care because it's one on one. I cannot reduce the cost of that care if I send one person out to the house to take care of mom and dad. Like that cost is built right into it. So whatever you know the labor cost or the wage increases are going to inflate to, like there is no way to reduce that unless you look at a solution like adult day where you can spread care amongst you know more caregivers. You could have one to six people where six people who are in need of care are sharing the cost of that one caregiver, right? So adult daycare becomes this perfect solution that brings the cost of care down, that solves the problem for the multi-generational household, that like solves the problem you know, for the working adult child or for the you know, working spouse who is trying to pursue their career, adult day becomes the solution for them. And it becomes not only a great solution for their loved one, but it also becomes a very economical solution. It's more affordable. And so all of these things are creating the perfect storm for adult day to become the solution for the great care crisis. And adult day care is going to come to the rescue. And if you are interested in starting your very own adult daycare, then make sure you go to adcpro.com, join our monthly webinar, join our private Facebook group, and if you'd like to own your very own Activate so we can go change the world together, and you know, make sure you join the movement, go to activeagecare.com forward slash franchise, and we will see you on the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. 
www.thebrandingbrand.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click here. We'll see you guys next time.